Hey there, Space Cats. Welcome back to the stream and welcome back to Private Idol. I'm very excited to play more of this game. Uh, this is a mystery game with, uh, like, it, I mean, it's very anime, as you can see from the imagery here, right? <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's about, you know, uh, two... Formerly rival, now girl best friend actresses uh, who are solving mysteries together. We solved a kidnapping, a murder, and a theft so far in the first stream. Um, and we are at the top of a fresh case. I can't wait to see what the fuck happens next in this game. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, I need to turn May on. May, appear. Let's push run button. Remember, work of fiction. No actresses have ever actually solved crimes. Don't fool yourself into thinking it. I don't think actresses are real. No, girls are real. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Girls are extremely allowed. Girls are extremely real. <laughs> Let's not go off the deep end here, Kev. <laughs> A girl careens through. Hello, <laughs> Anarch Debbie. Hello, Evie. Hello, Barrier Tree of Bean. Hello, Genie Problem. Wow. A bunch of people popping in right at the start. <laughs> Let's go. This game is great. Let's continue. From the only save file we're allowed to use. Ah! Snake Man! Snake Man, what are you doing here? Hello! Hello, readers! I am Fire Mountain. I stream retro games, and today we are streaming a Private Idol for the PC Engine CD. This is a very recent fan translation and I've been loving the game so far. Everybody wants to see this girl solve crimes. We are at the top of a fresh case, so... I mean, you're perfectly fine to join right now. It's very cute, yeah. I love to hear Dolphin. <laughs> Girl is thinking of Dreamcast. So true. So glad we finally get to get off this boat. Oh, he bows. That's cute. A pair of you have truly been a help. Please take care. Not allowed to go back into the boat. <laughs> so, uh, if you're new here and you did not see the first stream of Private Idol, basically, we're May Star. She's an idol. She's an actress. Um, and she and her best gal pal, Matoko, have uh, gotten roped into solving a number of mysteries at this point. And right now, they're just trying to take a vacation together. May. May, May indeed. <laughs> Well, Tim, this is in Pizza Tower. 
Wait, I'm sorry, we took a boat to take a different boat somewhere? Why couldn't we just go... what? <laughs> Mayus is upset with this concept as I am. <laughs> Wow, very small boats. <laughs> this is also uh, this is this is a friend that we made, Kihara. She loves snakes. Hey, Champy. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have a, a mystery on an even smaller boat now. <laughs> Thank you for removing some of the snakes, kid. All of the removed snakes go to her snake tank, that's true, yeah. Got a classic ferryman here. Having a big smoke break. Hang on, we got character profiles here. Where's Matoko's profile? She's our partner in crime, quote unquote. Quote unquote, partner in crime. This is Takibana. This is the detective that was on the boat with us, but he was too seasick to solve any crimes. These newlyweds got uh, their rings stolen, but uh, it got returned. It's fixed. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's very nothing, yeah? It's Atsuko. She looks like Daisy, as was pointed out in the previous stream. And of course, Kihara, who we all love. So it seems that all of us are going to be going to uh, the island resort together. Normal man. Yep. The LGBTQ community has forgiven Kihara. It's true. Uh, this game is 1995, so yeah, I guess. Scene 2 Part 2, Midday, is a bleak vacation. I don't know what these, like, titles have had to do with anything so far. <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah, for the drama of it all, I guess. Okay, I have to interact button to get out. Who is this? This just walked up. I'm not gonna talk to them yet. I'm gonna talk to Daisy. <laughs> yeah? What is this old lady doing? What are you about, old lady? Oh my god! <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> it's not February, it's the last day of January. Carry man just pushing her away. <laughs> Love what they did with the text here. You wanna do a February countdown? Ah, uh, that'd be so hard to have to set up. Come back soon, Kojima Hotel. Does it say something different on the front? Yeah, it says welcome to Kojima! <laughs> awesome! Oh yeah, this is Navi. She's our little computer friend. 
she lives in Maze Glove. Yeah, Hideo Kojima opened up a hotel. What's a hiker vault? You had a computer friend. Tell me about your computer friend. Hmm? Can we now leave? Oh, map on the sign. Sorry, I totally missed that. I was looking at the chat. They've drawn on a little map under the greeting. It's faded and I can't read it. Ah. Yeah? Miss Snakeman, did you did you finish Frontiers? Did you do it? Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, come on, I've been really enjoying this so far. What? Huh? This game has everything! Is this like some Legend of Mana shit? <laughs> Do you get to just like put things wherever? Oh, big! Honestly, I do too, Gloop. <laughs> okay, thank you, Anna. That 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 is potentially helpful. Five hundred meters south of the harbor. Okay. Okay. I have to make the map accurate. So it's not like I just get to decide where things are, right? Okay. Meters, 700 meters southwest of the harbor. Okay. Alright. What a weird mechanic. Okay, so. What she said was that this is technically like 500 meters, right? So we want, so we want it to be like here, right? For it to be 700 meters. Like technically that's like, cause, cause if you go diagonally, that would be 700 essentially. I think. <laughs> Question mark? Yeah, that makes sense. Can I leave? Yeah, I'm leaving. Let's go to the substation. Okay, we, we did indeed find the, the substation. Wonderful. So the fairy man is just restraining this woman, I guess. <laughs> you 
Yeah, it's very good. Oh, olden cop. Ah! She just fucking flung it! And she hightailed out of here! That's normal. Is it? <laughs> Can I, like, inspect this? I can't. Okay. Who's this? Hey. Young man. She has a Sonic connection. Really? Who, who is it? She's Sarah from the OVA? Really? <laughs> That's pretty great. The president's daughter. Uh, well, I have a lot of things that I want to ask about, but let's start with the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all these tourists always want to know where it is they get to sleep at night. So ridiculous of them. I can't believe the nerve of them wanting to find where their hotel is. Follow <laughs> the road and head south-southwest. Okay, hotel next to the shore. Gotcha, I think. I don't know why you would think that, Navi. I was just asking a man who he is. <laughs> Can someone look at the wrong idea? Yeah! <laughs> I'm sharing a bed with Matoko, thank you! <laughs> I see. So he's just some guy? Very funny that Navi makes, like, a joke about May being into the old cop, but doesn't say anything about the young man. <laughs> hmm. What's up with the sickle situation? See? Yeah. Do you? Do you also think this is the Devil's Island? Okay, I mean, probably, yeah. He does have an Animal Crossing villager nose, it's true. Hi, Mochi. And they made her decide this was the Devil's Island? It's the sickle. Yes, you're a hologram. Can't snoop on this man's room. They're an embarrassment. I see. Radio transceiver. I'm sure that won't be important eventually. Alright. 
I guess it's time to fill in the map. So... I mean, it sounds like the hotel is here, right? Yeah, we're leaving. Time to go to the hotel. Oh. He said South Southwest. That is South Southwest, essentially. He said it was by the shore. Oh, when he said South Southwest, did he mean like. Go south, then southwest? <laughs> so, like, here? <laughs> okay, the music changed, so I did it right. Welcome to the hotel. Wow! Welcome to Yokosa Chojima Hotel! Wow, they even got an elevator here! That's so high tech! Yeah, they got a crit on but they don't got Google Maps! What's up with that? Wait, her last name is Kusanagi? <laughs> That's, they're fucking killing Yori? I mean, okay, I know Yanagi isn't Yagami, but... <laughs> Wait, is Star actually her real name? They're both my real name. Ah, okay, okay. Right, we did hear about her father in the first episode. Yeah, the, the map! Uh, the map mechanic seems like it's neat. Eiji <laughs> Kusanagi. He hit a dead end and had a nervous breakdown. Whoa! Okay! That's, uh, okay. Kind of intense. <laughs> I gotta be honest, things from five years ago still bother me. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, we got different rooms. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I'm gonna go in your back rooms. All right. The restaurant. It's close. Oh my god. They weren't roommates. <laughs> I'm just poking around the hotel. A five. Okay, I guess there's nothing particularly interesting here right now. We're on the fourth floor, so let's go to the, the fifth floor. Ooh, the layout's different. I kind of thought it would just be carbon copies. 
This is a big room. Why didn't we, why don't we go for this suite? <laughs> It might have been so nice to share this room together, Mataro. Come on, these rooms are so big. They're so cool. I do like that they're just like sitting areas though also. The sweet life of May and Matoko. <laughs> Even Navi wants to know why the ship is being split up. <laughs> Navi, Navi is with us on this. <laughs> oh, there is no choice. I see. Oh, the suites are too expensive. Okay. So she wanted us to be in the same room together. Four or three. It's Matoko's room. I'm gonna hang out in Matoko's room with her though. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess not. I I kinda wanted to just hang out with you. I need some alone time. We just been on a boat together for two days. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> Love ya, but <laughs> I need a, I need a little Matoko time. I need I need to be by myself for a bit, May. <laughs> All right, whatever. It's okay. The color's a little drab. Yeah, there's not that many rooms. It's a pretty small hotel. Oh, the, the pink view from the window is awesome. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, she just commented again. <laughs> they really want me to look out that window. Wow. Now oh, I'm not allowed to interact with like any of the other items. Okay. They, I gotta see the window. Wow, it's beach. Beautiful ocean view. <laughs> who's, uh, look who's talking, Navi! Okay, look, just because you have a thesaurus built in doesn't mean that the way that you say things is more mature. <laughs> Yes. Somebody wants to talk to us? Weird. Is that... No, it's not. <laughs> this guy looks like he's dead! What? <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> he looks like he hasn't slept in five years! <laughs> What's up with this guy? I am normal. It's so normal. <laughs> <laughs> he probably, he probably does have a tan, but like, look at, I mean, just like, the, the bags under his eyes, the, the, the severe way he looks, he does not seem alive. Sakaki <laughs> He's thriving! He's well! Yeah! I'll bet you're dead tired after your trip. Hmm? 
Y... Yeah, he didn't welcome Matoko. I mean, I guess maybe he did while we were looking out at the wind at the sea. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be a waste to not have fun. Get Matoko though. All right. <laughs> yeah, enough time apart. <laughs> you have to be back together again now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's such a forward question to ask about our relationship. <laughs> oh, well, the beach, of course. Yeah, makes sense. Truly beautiful beach. Oh, it's a secret beach. Okay. Right next to the harbor. Okay. The Noctilucent Cave? Tell me about this. <laughs> Wow, we make sure that everybody sees our Noctilucent cave. We're very proud of it. The view from the cave. Okay. We have a number of things that we need to place now, I guess. Okay, just the same things. Yeah, it is. The western side is beach. So why don't you try going there? Why? Why did he beep when he appeared? <laughs> why was there like an elevator ding when he appeared? <laughs> Maybe he is an android, yeah. They really want me to know about the Noctilucent Cave. Okay, all the same. Yep. His other job is as an elevator? <laughs> One kilometer east of the hotel. Okay. Oh, I know about kilometers. I, I use metric measurements. <laughs> A thousand meters. That's kind of what I figured. <laughs> Who squares east? Alright, it's map time. Let's figure out what to do with the map. Okay, so the Noctilucent Cave is here, then, yes. That feels like that makes sense. The beach... Based on what Otsuko said... Oh, you realized something? What did you realize?
Oh, the dinging was the couple using the elevator, of course. That makes sense, yeah. Um, this is what Otsuko said. The secret beach is here, I think. Tango Rock is seen from the cape. So... Hmm. Huh. Maybe I need to double check about the... The Tangy Rock. Hey, tell me about Tangy Rock. You don't say anything about Tangy Rock. Gotcha. Where's Tangy Rock? The view from the cape. It doesn't clarify. What about... Tell me, tell me the cape again? Island's east side. Okay, 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 okay. So, that means... It's here. I think. Uh, let's say if we haven't done that in a sec. I'm actually kind of curious if we can snoop on the newlyweds. What floor do you think they're on? They've got to be on the fifth floor, right? They probably have one of the big sweeps. They sure are. Why didn't we get one of these, Matoko? I mean, I know it's expensive, but... Oh, we didn't do that yet. I just wanted- I just wanted to snoop on you and your privacy. Oh, yeah! Okay. That's nice. We're friends now. Alright, let's actually leave and find out about places. You wanna go to the beach right away? Yeah, sure, why not? Imagine the Noctilucent Cave is, uh... Not really going to be cool <laughs> in the day. Yeah, we got a secret beach. There's rope here. I mean, it looks like it's tied to the rock there, right? Oh. Special sprite for holding rope. I mean, I assume that somebody at some point has docked a boat here. <laughs> this is really good. This is really good. This is really good. Uh, I love the, the tiny drawings like this. Hang on. Where is my, uh, do I have a screenshot button here? Yeah. Let me just save that screenshot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Matoko had fun. May just watch. <laughs> is that it? That's the whole beach? <laughs> Yeah, it was just silly time for Matoko. <laughs> okay. God, I wish! <laughs> I guess we're leaving. It doesn't seem like there's anything else we can do here, right? Oh? Matoka can just have silly time again. <laughs> I wish there was a log to sit on. 
<laughs> it's so funny that this is what we decided to do at the beach. <laughs> Uh, let's get a Tengu Rock. Enormous rock tower made of granite. 11.4 meters above sea level. Ancient times when the Tengu of Kojima had a contest of might with the Tengu of Oshima, the Kojima Tengu threw this rock. And look out upon it from the tip of the cape. Cool. It's a rock. It's rock. <laughs> oh yeah, this game has been like so good looking the whole time. All right, let's see this cave. A cave where noctilucent moss grows natively. Wow! It's a bryophyte with the unusual property of emitting light. Bryophyte. I don't know this word. This requires micronutrients for the emission of light. Its native range is limited. Noctilucent cave. You can turn off the lights using the switch and install with it. What? <laughs> Huh? Well, let's see it, I guess. Just some dank cave! I don't know, it seems kind of neat. Yeah, Navi? But <laughs> what were you doing? Then why did you make the hologram go over there? <laughs> what? <laughs> why did you do that then? It's a fancy scientific term for mosses and other non-vascular plants. Okay, interesting. I guess Navi just likes to play tricks. I was kind of hoping I could, like, examine the moss here, but I guess not. Girls are real, but holograms aren't. Whoa, cool. <laughs> I love that she just immediately changed her tune. Uh, it's just some cave. Wait, no, this is sick. This is awesome. Uh, <laughs> that animation is so good! <laughs> oh, awesome! Oh, she's covered in moss! <laughs> Oh yeah, how is Kana doing? It's a massacre? <sighs> so cool. Looks like a shield or something up here? What is this? It's like a sign there. Hang on. I'm gonna turn the lights back on. Oh, that's one of the lamps, okay. The moss ma'am! That's good. Well, cave pool. I guess I can't interact with anything here. It's too bad. So what?
the people will enjoy seeing the glowing moss immediately. Fine, whatever. Okay. Well, cool cave. I'm sure something's gonna happen with this cave. Something is gonna, like... There's gonna be some kind of clue that's gonna show up in the dark. It's gonna be, like, related to the moss. The newlyweds. Yeah? <laughs> we just wanted to view all of the, the tourist attractions. It's just so pretty. Guess I don't have a choice. I guess I have to go to a cave with my wife. <laughs> this guy is so nothing. <laughs> you should always want to go to a cave with your wife. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Oh, hey. Akibana's here. Seems like everyone comes to this hotel. <laughs> oh, he's sad. He's sad and drinking because his daughter's dead. Oh, hey. Of course, you were talking out loud, like, five feet away from me. <laughs> No, I don't think that Mei has figured out that he's Ayaka's dad yet. Wow. Mei, <laughs> you were there! I know that you don't know that he's her dad. <laughs> I had a feeling that Takibana would know Mei's dad. It all makes sense, you know. Oh. Oh, the sepia tone picture! Oh, Matoko has to leave. Oh. They got paired up a lot. They were partners? <laughs> oh, a third guy. And what's the deal with this third guy? Oh. It's gone too. Oh. True. 
Yes! <laughs> Gas. Navi having emotion. Response. Oh, wait, there's a note. There's a note on our door. Ah, she's leading the newlyweds to the cave. Love that she signs with a heart. I see, I see, I see, I see. All right, well, let's go catch up, I guess. Actually, wait. I kind of want to snoop a little bit. Is, uh, is Takibana on the third floor or something, maybe? Oh, Kiara's here! Hi. Whoa! <laughs> She's just been, like, feeding gore to the snakes? <laughs> Snakeys get hungry! Is that, like, legal? <laughs> Can you- can you go to an island and just try to capture snakes? I guess she is a reptile researcher. So theoretically, maybe she does have a permit. Snakeys. A snakey takey permit?! Okay, I guess Takibana isn't here. She does seem like the kind of person who would call them noodles, yeah. Is Takibana still in the restaurant then? Oh yeah, he's just still getting drunk. Thinking about his old pals and his daughter. Oh, You're still so sad! Wow. Didn't go to your daughter's funeral? That's... Yeah, the, the, the sprite is really good. There's a lot of emotion in there. Don't stick around on this island too long, really. Hmm? Okay, interesting. Anything else to say about this? Go home early. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder what all that's about. Alright. Let's go find Matoko and the newlyweds. Oh. Huh. What's up, old man cop? Uh, okay. Hotel owner is taking the cop somewhere. Uh... Okay, nothing new or interesting to say about this. I guess I'll just go! Huh. Don't really have any other... I'm... I'm kind of tempted to go to the substation. Is 
very invested in snooping. Oh, the radio! Whoa! Whoa! Somebody just take a hammer to this thing? Interesting. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Let's go get Matoko. Sounded like the guy throwing up. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, it sounded like he was vomiting. <gasps> Matoko! I'm sure you had a reason to do it. Oh, okay, well, that's fine then. I trust you implicitly. I'm guessing you took it out of his body. Which, that is a mistake to have made. See. Oh no. Oh no, they're gonna lock up our gal pal. Tomo no, I think I'm going to be investigating this one. We're absolutely going to find out that, like, somebody has the moss on them or something. It's tense music. No! Back here! Yes, of course I'm leaving! To let me see her. Yes, this is a prison break. I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hmm. Kind of odd. Okay. Yeah, I heard the scream. Right, obviously there was somebody else. Huh. Still breathing. Oh, did she do the thing somebody with no medical training might do when they were panicking? <laughs> And and try to take the sickle out because they she thought that it would make it better. Oh. 
Interesting. <clears throat> okay. So theoretically, that is the old woman's sickle, which means that somebody came to the substation at some point, smashed the transceiver, and stole the sickle to kill that guy. But why? Why? I just kind of wanted to see if anything was going on here. No, nothing. <sighs> we were just having fun here just earlier. So sad. I doubt it's that simple. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. There's definitely going to be some significance to this. Hmm. Let's get back to the the hotel. I don't know why we would go to Tangy Rock. Yeah, there's not that many people on the island. Um... Hmm. Sasaki Koji. Kojima Hotel no owner. Oh, hey, he does have a portrait. Namai wa Murano san. Chotto guai so de kanji ga yoku mo na. It's too bad we don't really know anything about this guy. Can't really work off of that, right? Feels like there's no way that Kihara is involved in this one. I missed the one scene where you talk to him directly? Fuck! <laughs> what, what would I have had to have done? Is it? No way! Impossible! It doesn't say anything important, okay. No so he was way. actually Ayaka's father. I can't father. believe this! What an unfortunate woman! <laughs> I feel like unlucky would be the better word to say, right? I feel like unfortunate woman has very different connotations. <laughs> Interesting. There's the old woman also. I, I very severely doubt that she's actually involved in the case, though. I wonder if Takibana is still getting drunk. It's not. Okay. Yeah, the old woman is too suspicious to be a culprit. It's the same as with uh, Shinoda in the first case. <laughs> Never said something important, he's useless! <laughs> hmm. Yeah, she's too... she's too marked for trouble. The hex got you in such a tizzy. Hmm. 
まり大声で話せるようなことじゃなさそうだからな。とりあえず。Doesn't sound like something you can yell about. <laughs> 話を聞かせてもらおうじゃないか。I wonder what he was up to. Like, clearly he had left his room, right? Why does, why does Kihara have the smallest blanket in the world? <laughs> also, is that one of her snakes that is sleeping on the pillow? <laughs> She's such a funny character to also be here. <laughs> she's very, she's very sweet. I, I like Kihara a lot. <laughs> I can't just ignore a case. <laughs> well, I already did that. Okay, we now have Takibana as our party member. Interesting. Ikihara, can we wake you up and bother you? No, we can't. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if there is anything going on on the fourth floor. Probably not, but. You know? There wasn't a body in the ocean, huh? They made such a big deal of looking out the window. Nothing happened out the window. <laughs> The Asagiris about what happened. If the window was a fake out. Ah. Do not disturb. Gotcha. Well, even as detectives, we probably shouldn't bother them right now, I guess. <laughs> why does this. <laughs> okay. I. I get it. But well, why does this hotel have the smallest blankets in the world? <laughs> like, the beds are so big and the blankets are so small. Oh my god, you're right! He's not mirrored! This game is so detailed! That's awesome! <laughs> uh... Okay, you're still just recommending things, I guess. I guess you should check out the scene of the crime. Okay, I was wondering if maybe they put something on the sign. That's fine. We're detectives. Yeah. The rope is wet. Which means that somebody who was wet has been interacting with this rope. <laughs> he just fucking takes it down? <laughs> Goodbye, rope. Alright. Ah, uh, do we need to turn the light lights on? Alright. I don't want to poke around here a little bit. There is the pond here. There's a cave down there. Interesting. 
<laughs> Did somebody dump you? <laughs> Navi has no concept of romantic feelings! <laughs> really good line! Arrow Ace Icon Navi. Alright, let's turn on the lights, I guess. Uh, I do want to see if there's anything specific that we can see in the dark, though. I guess not. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. That's true. And to investigate. Yeah, where it fell has nothing to do with the case. <laughs> Matoko was interacting with it. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Time to take the evidence! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Why did he do that? Yeah. He didn't want it him, yeah, I guess. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. There's no moss on the ground here, so... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just round up everybody on the island and put them in a room and turn the lights off and see who glows. <laughs> You're just taking his wallet? We're not doing that, Navi. Don't be a cop. <laughs> I assume, yeah, identification. Wow, 19? Everybody that dies in this game is dying pretty young. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Then he's the son of the other guy! Yeah! I'm sorry, I'm- I'm guessing that's Muto in the center. <laughs> he looks- <laughs> Really out of place <laughs> next to the other two guys. We're all so young. We're always being loose cannons. We didn't play by the rules. Best days of my life when I had two buddies. Wow! Oh no! Okay, so that's Muto. Then that's that's May's dad in the center. May's dad. I'm sorry. R.A.P. May, your dad looks like a fucking dweebazoid. I'm sorry. 
I see. So the the case the is old dweeby, yeah. But she's got more style than this guy, at least. Yeah, Maze a gamer. There's a difference. So, couldn't work, yeah. Makes sense. And I assume that was the case that he couldn't figure out. 12 year old kid. Yeah. Hey, May, I think somebody's gonna maybe try to kill you just by, like, just by the, the some, some kind of law of, like, correlations and stuff. People are killing the, the children of these detectives. You're one of those. <laughs> May will never die, it's true. <laughs> Have we found something that looks like it could prove Matoko's innocence? Uh, the moss? <laughs> Yeah. If she's not mossy, then she didn't do it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, May. Uh, that's the real question. Yeah. I mean, I assume that the real killer jumped into that pond and swam at the little cave, right? Culprit's actions. Okay. I may look at the pond again, just to see if May remarks on the cave this time. Now that the lights are on. Nope. Okay. It's the same. Okay. Culprit's actions. We say Within 60 seconds! Why is this timed? But, oh. Sorry. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. This game has so many mechanics. It's so well done. I can't believe this game is this good. Yeah, it it's really smart. It's using like the RPG overworld format really to its advantage. その後で犯人がどこに逃げたかだ。メイや朝霧夫妻が犯人を見ていないということはどこかに隠れていたと思われるが。では、次に犯人が隠れた地点を考えます。いやいや。洞窟の入り口方向には、メイの他に朝霧
Yeah, it's, it's the pond. I figured this one out. Ah, uh, wait, if they went in the pond, then that means that the moss would have come off them. So, we can't put them in a room and turn out the lights. Hey! Mochi! <laughs> Look, I'm a huge Ace Attorney fan. I love those games with all of my heart. It is insulting to Private Idol to compare it to Edgeworth Investigations. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ace Attorney Investigations. <laughs> the first one, in particular, maybe one of the worst games in the series. Like, definitely one of the worst games in the series. Certainly, it's the most boring game in the series. It, I, I do not, I do not care for the first Edgeworth game. <laughs> The second one is better. I don't... I don't necessarily think it's as good as... Okay. This this is my personal opinion, but I think that the Takashi Yamazaki Ace Attorney games kind of pale in comparison to the Shu Takumi Ace Attorney games, just in general. <laughs> but I would say that, yeah, Edgeworth 2 is, is probably one of the best of, of the, the Yamazaki games. Yeah, they, they jump in the pond. <laughs> Truth Investigations 10. <laughs> wow, yeah. That's why the rope is wet. Hmm. So you think there's a lack of water? Yeah, they're not still in the spring. This where the culprit escaped. Huh. You gonna say the same thing again? No, good. I don't know, I think it makes sense. I mean, I think they escaped out the door because the rope was wet. Can't use it out there, okay. So, what was their escape route? They say that nothing out here is wet. Izumi,隠れていた犯人がどこからどうやって逃げ、証拠を見つけないと、Izumi隠れたという仮説も成り立ちません。六十秒以内に探し出してください。Within sixty seconds. Mean,これといって注目するようなものはありませんよ。もう少し注意を調べてから。Skip the surroundings more, huh? See. Have a lot of people been playing this game since the fan translation happened? People been talking about this? I haven't been looking up too much to see if there's- oh. Huh. It looks like a face. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't really been like looking for people talking about this game just because I'm like, oh, I'm still in- I'm still in the process of playing it. I don't- I don't wanna- I don't wanna get spoiled, potentially. Oh, so Squatchless has been playing it. Okay, that's cool. That's good. I think I also saw that um, YouTuber Dora3 was playing it as well. Uh, that, that was one where I was like, oh, 
This person I follow is playing this. I don't want to watch this because I am playing this. Ha. <laughs> huh. What? I'm in a crap. What'd that have to do with anything? I don't know that this... Oh, and Kay was playing it too? Wow, okay. A lot of people have been playing it then. Great. Oh yeah, Galaxy Fairline Yuna. That's like uh, a pretty popular digital comic on the, uh, the PC CD, right? I don't really know very much about it. I don't think this makes sense. Yeah, okay. Oh, I might have been in the wrong square. Hang on. No, okay. I was in the right square still. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. Wait, where would there be like... I don't see anything sticking out. Is being like a wet place other than the rope. <laughs> the, the, the rope is the connection. But they won't let me, uh... Well, let me point out the rope because it's gone. We got a translation last year. Interesting. Ah, okay. So they went through the little cave to the other side of the spring. There we go. I was thinking too, uh, too limitedly. Indeed. なるほど。泉が近で繋がっているわけですね。夜行動から人がいなくなるのを待って外へ逃げ出したんだろう。うん。犯人はかなり小島の地理に詳しいと見えるな。So it's somebody who knows Kojima well. Which would rule out the Asagiris, though, if I wasn't really suspecting them. <laughs> um... I mean... I feel like the hotel manager is sounding a little suspicious. If I'm like trying to think of like characters that it could have been. We had the the whole thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Jeff Keeley does know Kojima very well, or at least so he claims. So, <laughs> the yeah, there's no reason to keep her in custody. Set my gal pal free! Yeah, that's what I was thinking about earlier. Great. Got wet rope! Yes, of course, Navi, I'm leaving. Still not here, huh? Where the hell did he go? Man, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like we're about to turn up the body of Barney Fife, right? Oh, 
Takimata looks like he's about to try to psychically communicate with somebody here. I'm very concerned that we are about to turn up uh, Watabe's body. Feels very possible. You know, I haven't got to Tengu Rock in a second. Let's see if there's anything here. Yeah, I don't know why I thought there would be. <laughs> I guess I didn't think there would be, but... <laughs> What if the Tengu did it? Yeah! That wave animation does look really good. That is like so cleverly done with palettes. <laughs> Anything going on here? Really? I I was kind of wondering if maybe Takibana wanted to have some silly times. That's like definitely what they're doing with the uh the the water's wake on the beach here, right? That's like pallet cycling. Oh, okay. Never mind, he's not dead. But we got stuff going on. So glad Batabe's not dead. <laughs> Oh! Huh. I guess the age works out? <laughs> so you were the boss that retired, huh? <laughs> Essentially, like, exiled yourself, huh? <laughs> None of this is setting Matoko free. Fine, whatever. Hmm. I'm sorry, do we not have phones in the hotel? D does this hotel not have a phone? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> We're using queer this way? Okay, sure. Huh, yeah, what's up with that? ああ、いや、ボツボツだ。現場を調べさせてもらいました。被害者の身元も判明しております。被害者の名前は武藤隆人。7年前に殉職した。ねえ。武藤刑事の息子です。なぜ彼は。わかりません。なぜ小島にい
please set my gal pal free. Let my gal pal go. ならば元子君を交流する理由はないのいやあ、girl。Let's I feel like maybe the culprit is somebody we haven't even met yet, possibly. There's really kind of no reason to suspect that guy other than the fact that... I, I was mainly thinking about him because he was, like, having that weird conversation with Watabe earlier. But I don't think that is anything. But it does stick. It does stick out to me. Hey, Kev. Yeah, a lot's happened. Um, we're we're on the island of Kojima, um, and <laughs> no, it's not gonna be one of the snakeys. Uh, we're staying at this hotel. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> um, we're we're staying at the hotel. A murder has occurred. Matoko was put in jail for the murder. Yeah, we've got a full party now. Um, Matoko was put in jail because uh, she was suspected of being the murderer because she was standing over the body. Um, and... Uh, as of right now, we have proven her innocence. Yeah, she was also holding the murder weapon. There's a guy in a cave who got killed with a sickle. Um, we basically discovered that the killer jumped into a pond in the cave to, uh, to hide away after the murder. We still don't really have any good leads. Oh, also, um... The, the police station's, like, transceiver is broken. Yes, the cave has a lot of not-delucent moss. Hugs right! <laughs> I'm as sorry as this can be. She is, yeah. <laughs> there has been, there has been a lot of, there's been a lot of ship bait in this chapter so far. to put my glove with my computer daughter inside of it on. <laughs> Another new outfit, huh? I can't believe. I cannot believe. The expenses they went for this. I totally thought that was just like her chapter 2 outfit. I bet. Wait, no, this is the same outfit. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oh, right, we still have the murder weapon. <laughs> I 
It's got secrets. Sickle paper. Bluff on Three Wood Cape Warehouse. Ah, yeah, that's why he took it out of himself, because he knew that this would be in there. But why would he know that? Ah, interesting. Where is Matoko? Navi? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Our little computer friend is very strange. <laughs> I bet. God! <laughs> the, the nothing man is just staring dramatically out the window. <laughs> God! <laughs> Let's go pick up Takibana at least. Power is not in either. Okay, I guess we're we're one of the last people to get up out of everyone here. Oh yeah, the Famicom Detective Club remakes. Maybe I should check those out. I played Detective Club 2 a long, long time ago from the Super Nintendo fan translation. But I don't really remember anything about it. <laughs> Hey, uh, where is everyone? Yeah. Yeah? You know about through cape. Don't know of this. Interesting. Gumshoe on NES, that's the one that's like a light gun game where you shoot the detective on screen to make him jump, right? <laughs> I feel like I remember watching that Jeremy Parrish video. <laughs> I guess that's Pac Man to like, yeah! Love that I'm just showing the murder weapon to hotel workers. Like, hey, check this out. Do you like seeing the murder weapon? You know anything about it? You don't know anything about the cape either, huh? Yeah, everything's a bluff. Probably not. I didn't actually check the restaurant, did I? Let me just double check that nobody's there. Okay, yeah, restaurant empty. Where is everyone? Oh, no, okay, they are here. Why are you having breakfast without me? Come on!
Yes, they have to have breakfast with me. <laughs> Why, did... Why did May make Matoko move? <laughs> No, you have to sit over there now, because you didn't wake me up properly. <laughs> fashioned handwriting, huh? <laughs> Does, is he is he commenting on the quality of the handwriting or is he saying instead of it being typed <laughs> like good old fashioned handwriting hmm, okay are you oh okay I Get to solo investigate. Huh. Okay. Oh, cause it's vertical. Okay, gotcha. Investigate things that aren't dangerous. We're investigating a murder. <laughs> what would be non-dangerous? <laughs> All right, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Uh, actually, wait, let's see if the, uh, the newlyweds are feeling more up and about. They don't seem to be. But I'll, I'll bother them regardless. Alright, let's go, I guess. What to investigate? What wouldn't be dangerous to investigate? Right. Okay, good. I can see them off. Yeah? Wait, who are these people? No, I'm not leaving. Wait, I want to say goodbye! Yeah? Oh. Yeah, that's the corpse, huh? Cool. Don't you go desecrating the dead? <laughs> All right. Hi. I keep thinking about this rope. I keep thinking about this rope. Like, somebody... Somebody tied this here. Somebody docked a boat here at some point, you know? Oh, there's the shrug sprite. Not fun to swim by myself. Guess I better get solving. 
Anything at the Tengu Rock? No. It's just a rock. What is the point of this place? There has to be something meaningful about this, right? That, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, she's gone. <laughs> Is he okay? It's your own doing? Is it? What a bone chilling business! <laughs> he doesn't! <laughs> hey, I know that we found out that he used to be like Takibana's boss and our dad's boss and the other guy's boss, but he doesn't really have the vibe of. <laughs> Like, like a big investigator boss guy. He's just like, oh, what a bone chilling incident. We don't really have those out here. He feels too small towny, you know? I guess it's only been seven years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously. Hmm. Interesting. Three trees. Grown together all twisty like. Interesting. The shore of the island's northernmost tip. Okay. Yeah. What is his relationship with her? Just, just remind me. Northmost tip. Okay. Northmost tip. That doesn't really. Hmm. Here? Well, we'll fit. We'll find out, I guess. You know it. Left on through cape. I guess we got to do a little bit of guesswork with this one. Uh, let's go to the cave and just see if there's anything going on there before we go to the Rubik Cave. Body's gone. Blood stains here. Huh. They're not showing me the, uh, the face in the wall anymore. I wonder if that was just like a red herring. Okay. Here. 
We found the trees, though, at least. <laughs> So, uh, ha. This has to be important at some point, right? Hey, Strawberries. This is Private Idol. Um, this is very recently fan translated PC Engine CD game. Um, we're playing as a, a young actress who. Is the daughter of a detective, and uh, she's kind of taking up the detective's mantle, solving various cases. Uh, it's been really cool so far. The, the game is, like, pushing so much, like, fascinating, like, animation stuff. Uh, everything is voice acted. It's really cool. There's been, like, new mechanics every single case. <laughs> it's really wild. I've been liking it a lot. Okay. So, we technically- oh, ha. Huh. Okay, so we don't move it at this point. Hmm. Ha. Huh. Wonder... Let me ask. Watabe again. If there's anything specific about the warehouse. Warehouse there. But. I mean, I got it right, but. Hmm. I figured this one out. What is this emote? Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, at the small size, I couldn't really make out what was happening there. Yeah, maybe I just need to, like, investigate the tree more or something. Hmm. There's gotta be... something. She doesn't see a warehouse. Be below the cliff, I guess. Ah, that's what the rope is about. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I know Takibana told us not to investigate anything dangerous, but I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Hell yeah! I'm not overthinking it. I'm gonna investigate the warehouse. <laughs> I'm gonna find that warehouse. I'm gonna climb down a cliffside in pursuit of truth. <laughs> look, 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 look. Takibana told us not to do anything dangerous. So the fact that he told us that and the fact that we're about to do this means that it won't be dangerous, right? That makes sense, right? Uh, it's not long enough. Hmm. It did seem like it would be a good idea. Huh, the rope is still tied, though. So I wonder if maybe there's something else we can do to make this work. Yeah, we just find a second rope, exactly. Hmm. Fairyman's here. Hey, Fairyman. Huh? Don't do anything stupid! We weren't gonna do anything stupid! What? I'm, I wasn't 
gonna do anything stupid like climb down a cliff face? <laughs> I had no clue. I can't understand why somebody would want to kill somebody else just because they want to. I would never do something stupid. Heard of it. Huh. Oh! I didn't even think about renting the ferryman over there. Yeah, that makes sense. I was just. I was just questioning this guy. <laughs> I thought maybe he would give me more rope so I could climb down the cliff face better. <laughs> I really wanted to do this in the stupidest way possible is the thing. Sailors are always carrying rope. Hang on. I want to ask you about the rest of this first. I've never heard of a warehouse. <laughs> Really? Okay. Yeah. Take me there. I really like the alright for Yosha. That's very good. Also, how about we make like a tree and leaf? Really? Uh, yeah, if you could, that'd be a big help. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Are you making me do a, a fucking puzzle. A logic fast. puzzle? You're making me fucking play Zumbinis here? What's happening? Alright. I love being careful. That's why I'm in this cave right now. <laughs> ah, if you need to reset the puzzle, just jump in the sea. Great spray. Okay, so the moss will automatically propel me forward. I see. Gotcha. Right. Okay, oh, I can't go back either. Awesome. I guess I've got to get on this lily pad. Hmm. So I Okay. Huh. Interesting. Good thing it was just your imagination. <laughs> we were just imagining that we were exploring the cave. <laughs> ah. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
So, yeah, okay, so I can walk across it like this. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I feel like there's not really a lot of options that we have here, right? Because... What would happen if I just walked to here? Okay, I would just immediately go into the water. She wouldn't, like, jump or something. <laughs> Simply got no ups. Okay. Hang on. Oh, I waited too long to rewind, didn't I? No, never mind, it's fine. Uh... No, I mean, I can't really tell what else I would be able to do here. Let's leave that alone for now. Let's not touch the moss. Wait, but... Oh no, okay, it'll just stop there, yeah. What will happen if I... Okay, okay. Is this the exit? No, it's not. Okay. Um... This must be the exit. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, there's more! <laughs> I see, okay. There will be more, I see. Understand. Far right hand side, so you want me to go to Okay. Right. I have, yeah. The the developers knew what they were doing. over there. The shoe over there. Hmm. Don't know what that did for me at all. <laughs> to be honest. That doesn't do anything for me either. Fuck. Uh... Good thing it was just in your imagination! <laughs> that's not the way to do it. They did this. 
Wait, no, this is what I did last time, isn't it? Yeah, this is this is the same thing again. Okay. Let's try this then, actually. Wait, no, this is just the same result. If I... hmm... Okay. That at least. Crap. <laughs> Okay, I did it. Another one. <laughs> what are the ferrymen's waiting for me? I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Navi can't understand the concept of being tired of doing mazes. Okay. What does that do for me? I have to admit, I'm just kind of doing whatever and seeing what happens. right to So, that allows me to go down, but I don't need to go down. Aw. feel like I'm getting somewhere, but I'm not really figuring it out yet. Um, also, I need to get up for a second, so I'll be right back. Sorry. Speak while I'm gone.
Okay, I'm back. Let's figure this thing out. It would be so simple if I could just... bop... the... the leftmost... the, the top left... lily pad downward. Right from where it is, you know? Because then it would hit the other one and then... be able to cross right here. Get over to the other side. Not that simple, obviously. I feel like I was getting somewhere before with 
doing this and then this. So. Is here lily pads? Ha. Huh. I don't think this does anything. This is just putting him back in the same places again. Oh, not quite. But I don't think that helps at all. Let's just put it back here. I am so lost on this one. <laughs> uh... I'm getting to wonder if I've just put myself in a bad position. Let's start this over. Yeah, the sprites in this are so freaking good. Monty, how you doing? You munching after Metroid. How was it? You beat Fusion? You didn't like it! <laughs> yeah, I don't really like fusion either. <laughs> it's not my favorite. <laughs> this is hopeless also. <laughs> uh, this puzzle... It's a good thing this puzzle is just in my imagination. Yeah. Yeah, how did you how did you feel about the final boss? Cause I had a rough time against the SAX. Wow, really? 
I don't know why, but I had a really hard time with it. I would have to, like, look at my VOD and remind myself. I was also just having a terrible day, so <laughs> that might have been part of it. Ah. Uh, this does not feel like I'm getting anywhere. It's this, at least. I can get to this island, but... Yes, we can do this. But solves the puzzle. Okay. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, the cave is cold! Whoa! Negative 10 Celsius! Hey, we're not... We're not wearing the right outfit for this cave adventure. You've discovered the cave warehouse. Boxes and sacks. I almost thought that said boxes and snacks. <laughs> Be nice if we could find some snacks. In warehouse. It's hidden in the sickle like it was a major secret. Hmm. Hard to imagine it's just a coincidence, yeah. Wait, okay, okay, so then what May is suggesting here is that Muto stole the sickle from the, 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 the police substation, and he was killed for having found this place then with the sickle, ironically enough. I hadn't actually considered that. I thought that the person who stole the sickle originally and the person who killed him would be the same, but that maybe makes more sense. It creates a motive, at least. So it does also mean that uh, we might get killed by the murderer as well for finding this place, which is probably fine. Can, can Holy shit! We got weapon smuggling? Okay! White powder? CK! Holy shit! Love to hear Nami say Coke! Holy shit! We found trucks- Oh my god! And they're connected to the people who design Navi? Or they are researching Navi? Interesting. And he still ended up writing tit tit Statue. Hmm. Think those stains are just from age, or? Possible. あ。へい。Hey. No, 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 no. Yeah, it has to be that Muto put the paper inside of the sickle himself, right? 
Because there's no way that the old lady is involved in this. Guess it's time to don't check. Oh, there's more. Okay. Why Earth built a warehouse like this? Yeah. Some kind of drug runners, I guess. Nothing else. Be an absurd quantity of guns, yeah. Uh, okay. No! Too much jargon, yeah. Huh. So are they trying to make another Navi? <laughs> yeah? Okay. I guess that's everything then. Time to go. Warehouse for smuggled goods. Mito was killed because he learned the secret, yeah. Oh! The hotel lady? Don't you go doing anything reckless now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for saying both Cocaine Island and Cowgirl Island, Monty. <laughs> it's very important to check these things sometimes. <laughs> Automod is asleep, yeah. It's fine. Why is the hotel receptionist here? Why are you here? Oh, okay. That sounds potentially nor okay. Why are they highlighting revenge like it's a location? <laughs> Okay, goodbye. You okay, receptionist? I don't know. God, I can't believe you! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that they let us question her about what just happened, and she's like, "You're not taking that seriously, right? Don't don't talk to me more about this." Hmm. All right, so. Uh... I'm curious. Who's at the hotel right now? Okay, they have a different staff member doing the receptionist job. She abruptly took time off. Huh. Ah. Okay, I was kind of wondering if maybe we could go into the back room <laughs> because she wasn't working, but <laughs> seems like no. Ah. I'm gonna poke around a little bit. It's a great episode of the White Lotus, yeah.
What is Kihara doing? <laughs> the snakes are fighting back. What the hell? I thought you were friends with the snakes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really glad that we can always go back to the hotel and see what the hell Kihara is up to. <laughs> wonder if Matoko is back. Probably not. Seems no. just ominously standing over his wife. <laughs> oh, Masami? What are you doing? Oh, you did? Huh, an old temple, huh? You didn't know where you were, huh? I guess that's not something that we get to play based on those vague directions, huh? Yeah, I know that. Why are we talking about the beach suddenly? Maybe I should just go to the beach, then. I'm curious about that temple, though. Why is everybody talking about this beach? Why is everybody talking about this beach? <laughs> Yeah, awesome, okay. Let's go to Tengu Rock. <laughs> so there's been another killing then. Let's close these. I feel bad for suspecting him earlier. Huh. It's possible. Blood splatter too. Oh my god, and a handprint. I mean, yeah. There's a handprint. Uh, feel a little bad for also saying that he looked like he was dead before, seeing as he is perhaps now dead. Why is there just a shoe here? Oh, okay, there is. <laughs> There, there is a way to investigate that. Good. So... His suit came off. His shoe came off. And he fell off the edge here? Hmm. I don't know. It feels a little too far away. Well, I guess... Tile-wise... <laughs> I guess tile-wise it makes sense. Okay. 
Well, but why would his suit come off? Hmm. Like, I don't really get why his suit jacket would be here. It's possible, yeah. It feels a little planted. The, the suit jacket and the shoe feel a little planted, right? Huh. Might as well tell Batabe. Hey, there's a second victim. That feels like that's a thought, but also like that feels like that would be way it, that would take way too long to do in the middle of a fight, right? I also have to wonder why exactly the receptionist, like, has immediately left the island right after her boss is maybe dead. Oh, okay, he just left. <laughs> we didn't even talk more about it. He just fucking leaves. referred to it as an Animal Crossing villager knows earlier. I'm, I'm very... I'm very curious about the seat jacket. It feels... It feels weird. Cause like... Why would the jacket have come off and just ended up here? And it's something that has his name tag on it, right? So like, it, it overly identifies who the victim is. And maybe it's just like that because, you know, this is a video game and they're, somebody is writing it. <laughs> they're, they're trying to figure out how to lead you to think of who this is. But it feels a little too much, right? Don't ask. Yeah, there, there is indeed a drug smuggling warehouse here. Anybody tell you there's unlawful dealings involved? Yeah, true. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. What if? <laughs> okay. This is a silly thought. What if the entire hotel? <laughs> what if, like, the the hotel staff is? The, the smuggling ring. What what if what if the manager of the hotel and the staff of the hotel 
are the drug smuggling ring. Anything going on at the Cape? No? Okay. Takibana is back? Nope. Hmm. I don't really know if we would find anything new in the cave, but we might as well check, right? to inspect. No. Doesn't seem like there's anything to look at here. Wow! They just let me leave, huh? <laughs> you didn't bug me about turning the lights back on, huh? <laughs> hmm. I guess the hotel. And out just now, huh? Hmm. He looks more serious referring to the woman. I wonder if that's something. The manager came back here soaked head to toe yesterday, huh? You don't say. Okay, so maybe not the entire hotel staff is in on it. <laughs> but I am suspicious of the receptionist. I feel like she is part of the syndicate. And I feel like she left specifically because of whatever happened with Sakaki. Thank you for removing some of those snakes. I think you're talking about the beach. Can you by any chance give me any kind of directions towards that temple you found?
Haven't seen the hotel's manager since we got back, yeah. Mountains, we're really exhausted. Hmm. There's nothing there. I don't know, maybe I'll just go back there now, just in case. Actually, hang on, let me go check in with Kihara. Okay, she's still doing that. <laughs> Making sure. I'm so glad she's here. She's still being precious. Came back so head to toe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that all makes sense. I mean, theoretically killed, yes. I think, okay, so if Sakaki is dead, then I think the receptionist did it. Because... Maybe she was just like, you know, this is going too far. There was a, a struggle that broke out. They fought each other and then she ended up killing him. But mm, no, I, I don't know that that makes sense with like the whole big bloody handprint thing either. I don't know. Hmm. A lot of question marks here. Motoko and Takibana are back. They're not. <laughs> if you thought that, you were wrong. <laughs> Maybe we go talk to Butabe at the rock again? Let him know our suspicions. Yeah. Sounds like there's no place for me in this anymore. <laughs> well, okay, but like, you can help. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm sorry that this wasn't actually the reunion maybe you were hoping for. Yeah. Why the suit jacket like that? Yeah, there's no body. I don't... Something's been bothering... I've got something's been bothering me a little. I feel like they maybe dropped a couple words there. It's okay. It's fan translation, I understand. Yeah. I don't know. This whole thing. It's the back. This whole thing is bugging me. Like, why would there be a giant bloody handprint on the sign if he died by falling backwards over the cliff to his death, right? Like, it all feels manufactured to let us know that there is a victim, quote-unquote. Hmm. Maybe Takibana and Matoko are back now. They are! 
or no, the the fairy man is back. One pushy detective, huh? Okay, so they're probably at the hotel then. Gotta tell them about the results of my investigation. Where are they? There they are. You didn't search the Tango Rock? What happened to not doing anything stupid? <laughs> hey! Hey, I did a lot of very smart things. I had to solve puzzles, which was smart. And I found leads in the investigation, which was smart. A puzzle. Gotta think fast. Where do I start with this? What were you here for, Takibana? Yeah. So Yeah, okay, this this makes sense. This makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Nandomotosa <laughs> They imagine, you know, they were responsible for the death of Muto Sr. It's true, you can't rely on the police. Everybody? You can't rely on the police! <laughs> this is an important thing to remember for life. <laughs> Only trust your fists. Police will never help you. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck, did the syndicate just make it look like that? Someone inside the police is connected to them? Truly, you can't trust the police. <laughs> See. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Interesting. interesting. Yeah, so he was trying to... Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. What about the old woman? Yeah. He was accompanied by her. Huh. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. 
どうしようはないが榊が自分濡れで戻ってきたという話が本当なら武藤君を殺したのは榊だろう Indeed. あとは老婆と事件の関係が分かればな Hell yeah! Full party! Love to have everybody all together! Hey Overdrive, what's up? How you doing? This is Private Idol. It's fucking sick. This is an awesome game. If you like, if you like, like,、uh, mystery games, this is a great one. It just recently got fan translated.、Um, and. Basically, nobody knew about it before this. Like, the, the readme for the fan translation file, I haven't mentioned this, but the readme for the fan translation file mentions that, like, the fan translator just found out about this game from going through a list of PC Engine games in alphabetical order. <laughs> And was, like, so taken with it that they were like, I gotta, I gotta make sure that I translate this. <laughs> But, like, there, there's no information about this in the West.、Um, they even mention in the README, like, the only walkthrough for this game anywhere was in, like, PC Engine Fan Magazine or something. Maybe it was, like, a digital magazine. I would have to look at the README again or something. Like, there, there's not much information about this game in Japan or in English. Yeah, it was just buried in its time. Which is such a shame because this game has been so good. Like, this game has been incredibly good so far. Anything to say about any of this? It's different? No, this is the same. Okay, this is all the same. Well, actually, hang on. Let's ask about the old woman. Right? Yeah, okay, they don't know who she is. Okay, so we need to investigate Sakaki. This is, I guess, maybe just going back to Tengu Rock would be sensible. Okay. Alright. <laughs> hey, we saw the silhouette that just, like, left off the top of the screen, right? <laughs> I mean, I was kind of thinking that too, and this doesn't necessarily mean that he isn't. You know? Like, he may have gotten killed because his conscience was getting the better of him. Whoa, cool! Awesome big art. Oh fuck, he's not dead! Oh, big! <laughs> yeah, okay! Great, see you, Matoko. I hope nothing happens to Matoko because she just left. It's true, this is the second time we've gotten to say we're so glad Matabe's not dead. <laughs> He was really sure that the old woman wasn't involved, too. Hmm. I mean, there was a, a silhouette that left the scene. <laughs> Did. <laughs> Were we the only ones who noticed that? Did Mei not notice that? Did Mei and Takibana and Matoko not notice that somebody left the scene the second we entered? I guess! She can only see out of Mei's glove, admittedly. Oh, yeah, he is. He's got like a note. Okay. 
Because we had just walked up. Yeah. The broken signal will surely find meaning, Batabe. There's something in the transceiver at the uh, at the substation. Yeah. <laughs> So he was writing this. He was writing this to Takibana, and then he was killed. Like he didn't obviously right? but. Huh. Yeah, like absolutely. May get on my level. Come on. <laughs> Okay, Mateko's fine. <laughs> yeah! It ain't good! <laughs> ah, they're not letting me hang out with Motoko this episode. Yeah. Okay, I can't inspect this, I guess. It's kind of thinking... Maybe I could, like, look at the hat, but I guess not. Alright. Well, obviously our destination is a substation, but... I want to see what Kihara is up to. Does, any, does anybody else want to check in with Kihara? <laughs> I want to see if she's still doing the same silly thing. Okay, she is. <laughs> I just, I just needed to see. <laughs> Yeah, this part's pretty long. It's good. I'm, I'm like, I'm really liking this. <laughs> the broken signal. The radio transceiver, yeah. Yeah, I think it will. <laughs> Another letter? <laughs> Whoa! Kinky. Kimi Tachi ga kono tegami o me ni shite iru toki ni wa, watashi wa kono yo ni inai de shou. Sude ni sa shite iru kamo shiremasen ga, watashi mo Sakaki mo soshiki no ichi. It was part of the syndicate. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what it seemed like.組織が今後の取引に用いる品を保管しておくための倉庫。保管されているのは警察が押収し、横流しされた品がほとんどです。いや。私も警察にいた頃は組織の一員として押収された麻薬や拳銃などを横流ししていたのです。そして 7年前 Oh my god. You killed him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was like, oh my god, he killed Muto! <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> and the old lady? Oh, he did kill him, man. <laughs> oh, my God. 
自分の死を迎える時が来たのだとそう感じたのです。Hey, this is a lot of reveals at once! <laughs> you think he means indirectly? Hmm. Right, the temple. The one that the,、uh, the Asagiri stumbled onto. We gotta, we gotta protect this old lady. Yeah, no, I, I know. I know he said it was like he, he leaked info, but I don't know. <laughs> You did admittedly miss the beginning, Kevin. <laughs> Good God! What a complicated case! Okay, we're getting a summary, so that's good. Let's do it. Look at the letter. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! I can't do the whole thing again, I'm sorry. <laughs> we can't do this whole text again. No, 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 no. I thought you were gonna summarize the letter. Yes. 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 Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so, yesterday evening, young man was found in the cave. He's the son of one of the detectives that was investigating the syndicate. The other two being Takibana and May's father. I'm okay. <laughs> the thing that's hitting me right now is. Hey, if we're solving, like, the, the case that May's dad died working on, how is there another case after this? Like, what is the narrative escalation from there? <laughs> I'm very curious what the last case is gonna be now. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Signs of some sort of incident were discovered, yeah. I still don't really buy it. But okay. This also explains why. He and Mutabe were having that weird conversation earlier in the episode. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. 
I think Sakaki is alive. I 100% I believe that the Sakaki incident is a fake. <laughs> yeah, if you don't see a body, they're not dead. And just like the bloody handprint and the shoe and the suit jacket, they all feel so specifically planted, right? I wonder. So, like, I'm already operating under the assumption that Sakaki also tried to kill Batabe, right? But I wonder if maybe planting that evidence there was his attempt to get Watabe to come out there to, like, kill him, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like that feels like a very real possibility. The whole family line. <laughs> Right, and her concept of how to keep people away from the syndicate was to pretend? Question mark? To just be like a, a raving old woman who says this is the devil's island? <laughs> yeah, she was kind of Scooby doing it. <laughs> Oh no, it, it's the... I, I don't think it's specifically that people move constantly when you're talking to them. It's that, like, party members are always moving. Yeah, it's a classic fold game. Okay. Also, let's save. <laughs> The temple. I think we need to talk to the Asagiris. They're the only ones with any kind of like information about where this temple is. You want the Asagiris to be the masterminds? <laughs> That would be kind of hilarious, but I, I kind of doubt it. They, they do truly seem to just be normal people. Innocent people. I am normal! <laughs> Masami just answers the door and immediately goes, I am normal! Um, can you give us more information about this temple, please? Got lost. Miserable hiking. You ended up in an old temple. Just kept going. God, should I add normal men? <laughs> I use, I reference that so much. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, now we can ask about the temple. Yeah, you were lost. You don't know where it is. There was a river to the side of the temple. Okay. That's literally any information at all. So, <laughs> it's a help. There's a river to the side of the temple. Okay. That means it has to be... Like, around here. Hmm. Let's give this a try, I guess. Or... Hmm. Well, I'll try it this way, but um, just having it occupy a square... You know what? Yeah, let's just make it... Let's make sure it occupies a square with that river first. <laughs> But that's not really in the mountain still at that point, right? Hmm. I'm gonna leave it here for now. The snake battle continues. Monty. <laughs> Snake battle. She is an expert, yeah. Let's see. No. We just found the forest, okay. Alright. We we put it on the the tile that also has river. Well, it could be this. Let's try this one. That feels like it's got a little more mountain in it. The the process of like figuring out where places are feels very silly. Because like May essentially went to like that one spot and then walked back to the hotel. And now we're going to the spot that's like 500 <laughs> meters downwards. <laughs> okay, we found it. Ma'am? We should just thrown out? What? Aha! I knew it! He's so normal. He's so dead. Indeed. As I thought. To entrap Watabe. Wait, what? Because I found the temple fast, I skipped a whole area in minigame? What do you mean? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> what is this content I missed? <laughs> Oh, that's right! There is an empty spot on the map creation screen. What? If you can't find it immediately, you need to see it from the mountaintop. Whoa! Weird! Rope tunnel maze? What? <laughs> that, yeah, it really is interesting that you can skip things like that. 
This game is so cool. Okay, what do you think you're going to do, though, then? We're, we're like, we're standing in the way. You have a gun? Okay. You okay, ma'am? I hope so too. Are you we trying to to motivate the old lady to to go after this guy now? Well, I mean, what this game is doing in terms of like having like the RPG shell rather than like the the Japanese adventure game shell or like visual novel shell is very unique still, I think. He does. Yeah, she simply decided not to die. I mean, it didn't- it doesn't seem like she was, like, injured at all. It seems like maybe he just, like, grabbed her and threw her out the door. <laughs> A raft? Okay. Uh, snakes! <laughs> Oh my god. We have to catch up with this, don't we? Thank you for removing some of those snakes, Kevin and Tyler. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> this is not the time. Mankind knew that they cannot change if society. If only we had the snake so expert with us, yeah! They blamed the beasts. That sprite was incredible. Ah, I jumped into the water! Okay, I did it, it's fine. talking about the beach. Yeah. Okay, cool. I did it. I mean, I kind of caught you already. Whoa, me swearing! <gasps> the receptionist! <laughs> I knew she was part of this! 
彼女なんですよ。Oh my god, she looks so cool! She's so girl boss! It's so girl boss to be part of a fucking crime syndicate! She's too cool, we have to give up! We can't, we can't do this! Well, I think she's purple. May is the one that's pink. Okay. I dove. May. Thank you, Takibana. Bye! This is the ultimate power. Yeah? Hey, it's not just this case. We solved the, the, the syndicate, too. What? <laughs> okay. Dang, you found me out. I love mysteries too. <laughs> I'm not getting sucked into this thing because I want to. May, May, you think that the mysteries are fun. You love the mysteries. Matoko has already admitted that she loves the mysteries. You need to admit that you love the mysteries too, May. Whoa, angry. Wait, what? The sheer staff with Detective Pikachu? <laughs> That's incredible! Alright, we did it! We, we have completed... Scene 2, Part 2. We are moving on Two. to the final case. Let's see like a, a little, let's get like a little tiny taste of it. <laughs><笑><笑> You can't trust the police. The much discussed woman. <laughs> the fucking peace sign. Wow, a commendation. What? What's happening here? Oh no! Somebody did a murder while they were watching the news report about May! The Twilight Pop Idol. Oh, back to the first outfit. Okay, there were only two outfits. <laughs> That's too bad. I was kind of hoping that there would be a new outfit every case, but it's fine. Whatever. It's okay. <laughs> we don't even get to see it. <laughs> yeah, when you say there's only three cases, like... It sounds short, but actually, it's it's quite it's quite full of content. Where's Takibana is here too. He's become essentially one of our sidekicks. This is a great drawing. I love 
loved... I loved their faces! <laughs> They're just making the same expression. It's really good. They're both sucking on hard candy, yeah? Satsukigaoka? Okay. Is that just where we live? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look around at this stuff. Wow, it's been a month! Oh, that's a good sign. I mean, it probably feels better now that, like, the case that took the lives of, like, everybody that was important to him except his daughter, whose life was taken by a different case, but, you know, the other case... <laughs> That's been solved! Both of the cases have been solved, so at least he doesn't have to keep thinking about those things anymore, right? They worked on 7th Cross Evolution?! Holy shit! That's something I need to look at sometime. これはこの is there more to look at? What? Am I the first actress to get commended for contributing to a criminal's arrest? <laughs> probably not. I feel like that's probably happened before. Okay, that's all the same. Hmm. There's other stuff to talk about? Oh, his phone. Ugh! <laughs> this guy's face is so severe. He seems much less kind than he did in the previous image. He seems very mad now. Hmm. Staff. Hey, look. It's our pals from case one. Now let's hear about Yuko. Five years. She, she did kill a child. Good to see you're looking cheerful. Hmm. This guy's here. <laughs> this guy! <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is the guy from Gundam! <laughs> I don't know his name, I only know G Witch. That's, yeah, that's Amura. That's Amura Ray, right? This is just Amura Ray. <laughs> I should probably take a break, yeah. 
Akibana's voice actor is on One Piece. That's not surprising. I imagine this game is probably trying to sell itself on having, like, big name voice actors. Uh, I don't think so, dude. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. <laughs> oh, S Sasaki. Sasaki, please. I stand strong in the face of adversity. <laughs> Do they usually have, like... I mean... I guess they would be filming the parade. Then, like, why, why would they be, like, setting up the parade if they're just, like, TV staff? <laughs> I think that, like, an event would have, like, a different sort of set of people for that. Where are we going? It's fun. Whoa! Look at that! Maze on TV up there! Go! Oh, and Navi, too! Yo, where's Matoko? Where, where, where's she at? Uh, oh, the PCFX! Better get your hands on that! That's how you, you're gonna see the OVA for, for Private Idol. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Evil! <laughs> Hell yeah! Wait, that said, okay, hang on, hang on. New taste, cool. The, the, the car commercial said, um, like, July 5th, and then there was a, a 10 after that? Is this supposed to take place in, like, 2010? Do you think? Because this is definitely, like, the future, considering Navi exists, right? Do you think, do you think they were, they were saying like, ah, sure, yeah, 2010, whatever. <laughs> do we not live here? Oh, Sasaki lives here. Where, where does May live? <laughs> Kind of a mix of contrasting things. Yeah. Put all the fucking city budget into the cops. <laughs> and not whatever that other building is. I too think of car when I think of nature. Ooh, there's even more stuff here. I'm a car now too. True. <laughs> um, hmm. I want to see the park. I want to see nature. Oh, okay. That the, the park is this. Gotcha. Let's see District Two then. Oh, coffee. Sundance. It's just an alleyway, Navi. Matoko, you say? Cafe Sundance. It's a shop the sun doesn't shine on. Well, I assume, you know, it's because they're, they're big into the film scene. Don't look. Can we just go in? We can. Cool guy! <laughs> that, that is Morshu, yeah. 
Mateo's voice actor is in Dead or Alive 6, that makes sense. <laughs> I feel like the abandoned building is a little ominous, right? Woodsy Ellen. Coffee? Cakes? Beans? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. Yeah, Cafe Mag Sacks. I want to know about Woodsy Ellen, the electronics sir. Woodsy Ellen? I mean, she did say Woodsy Ellen. This tune is nice. Sure, it's fun to go out to the city. Hate looking. Let's go to the electronics store. Maybe May can get some new PC engine games. Oh, Orca compatible PCs. Would you like to be inside of a computer, Navi? is good. Yeah, I, I kind of love the idea of like an electronics store with like plants and stuff inside of it. It's very cute. What oh, they got here? They got phones? An answer phone? That's so brutal! May doesn't even like. That you, son of a! May doesn't even say anything back to that! Yeah, she she's an idol and a detective! She's famous! What's wrong with Navi? from the boat. <laughs> Why do you work at the electronic shop? <laughs> it's you! Oh. You didn't want to go anywhere near the islands anymore? Oh, the boat is just completely shut down and nobody is allowed to go to Kojima anymore. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Particularly going on here, I guess. Okay, we can look at these TVs. Feels just like we're watching TV in a forest. <laughs> what a what a funny atmosphere. Can we can we go in here? 
she's so laid back. <laughs> Don't be a cop, Navi! How many times do we have to have this conversation? <laughs> Navi constantly thinks that we're gonna steal shit. <laughs> and is incredibly a cop about it. Alright, let's go check out the abandoned building, I guess. I guess! <laughs> What are these notes? Like, wh what are all these notices on, like, the shutter and the walls here? Password panel. Yes, this definitely leads to Speed Highway. This is this is the biggest and most beautiful building in the city. I'm so proud of being the owner of this building. Ha. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Was May just like mashing it? Yes, obviously. Now he has gotten so snippy. She is too big for her britches. for her Bridget's. Yeah, her <laughs> staff program has been going into overdrive. Never should have installed that on her. Hmm. What else is there to do out here? Wanna go back to the park then? Now that we've looked at everything, is it time? Well, I'm a ray. We go inside this bus? Hmm, they're still telling me that I can go wherever I want. Hmm. This is all the same still. Where else can we go? It's the same. Maybe they'll let me go in Sundance now. No, Marshu still does not want me in here, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Can we go buy a PCFX? I didn't see any for sale at a uh, Woodsy Ellen, so I'm not sure. Maybe we can go to the cafe if we keep looking. Oh, there we go. Matoko and Kana are here. It's our friends. Oh, is Matoko feeling awkward that we found her with another girl? <laughs> Hmm. 
Oh, she's feeling awkward because she didn't want us to find out about the gift. I understand. <laughs> Tana has already spilled the beans. You cannot salvage this, Matoko. <laughs> Okay, we can't talk to Matoko, I guess. Anything else? Hmm. I'm confused. <laughs> I kind of assumed that this would lead to more than this. <laughs> hmm. Else in the surroundings? Feels kind of good. Understandable. Hmm. Yeah, that's all the same. You know, I would have thought maybe we would be able to go into the station to see Takibana or something, but I guess not. Yeah, th this feels more adventure gamely. Okay, okay. <laughs> Tiny baby girl? Tiny baby child? Wants us to do detective work for her? <laughs> biggest ribbon with biggest ponytail? May, you're a detective. You can find him. She's crying, May. Tears. <laughs> this little gear with tears? <laughs> Is this, a, is this a guilty gear by any chance? <sighs> Little gear. Destroy. True, I guess. <laughs> Characters. Oh, this must be. May. This must be the girl's name. Yo. She's a seven year old girl. She told me to find her dad, but well. Yo. My close friend. <laughs> My, my, my girl best friend. She's a good girl. <laughs> Taki, right, this is the, uh, the chief of police. Just for today, I'm the chief of police, though. <laughs> It's like he loves magic stuff as much as ever. This guy is... That guy seems really flaky, if you ask me. Hmm. 
Oh, she's Leaf Girl. Where's your house? Wow, Maison de Fleur. Families. I mean, well, you know, I, I was about to be like, well, those sound like fancy apartments, uh, but maybe they're not. Maybe they're just trying to sound fancy. <laughs> Atsuro, okay. He didn't come home yesterday. Okay, so you didn't just like get separated from your dad or something. Who is Miss Tomomi? Apartment manager, okay, okay. Gone. Okay. I understand. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, we can go to District 3, I guess. Wow! Oh. I had that. Yeah, that's an apartment building! <laughs> Is it this building that we're looking at right now, Navi? Yeah! It does seem like it's nice. Look around a little bit, I guess. Ding dong. Kinda figured that, like, the first one on the ground floor would be the apartment manager. No worries, Kev. See you later. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Sonegawa. Hmm. Oh, hey! Whoa, this lady's cool! I love her! This is a really good design! <laughs> Sorry. They they wouldn't they wouldn't waste a design on this on just some random character, right? She's gotta she's gotta be showing up more, right? She does seem to have blue hair and pronouns, yeah. That's true, I am. Yeah, yeah. He's away from home a lot. Huh, okay. What? Something happened in District 4. Officers investigating an ancient apartment. Huh. Okay, interesting. Can I? Hang on. Can you give me more information about your dad? Chorus? No, okay. I kind of want to know what your dad's job is, but okay. <laughs> She has a key. Her dad really must not be home a lot then. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, 
you don't know what your dad does? Yeah, I was kind of mentally thinking, who is your daddy and what does he do? And I didn't want to say it. Thank you for saying it. Ah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> huh. Why does she not know what her dad does? Yeah, it's her daddy Yakuzaman? Refrigerator. Cute! Okay, look at the bear and the bunny. She's got a bunch of plushies. Got a kitty. Is this two kitties? Hey, I'm not sure what this one is. This is definitely a kitty. There's bear and bun on the bed. I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, maybe it's a fox. Yeah. Oh no. Is this a mini game? <laughs> this is, I have to do a jigsaw puzzle mini game? <laughs> oh, there's gonna be like blood on the back of the puzzle or something, isn't there? <laughs> Wait. They, yeah, yeah, there's writing on the back of this. I mean, I kind of want to know. Very big writing here. Not sure about this one yet. Let me put it over here. Ops piece. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's just go for corners. I kind of want to see what the picture is, admittedly. But... Yeah, you know what? Ooh, but then I have to... Then I have to, like, reverse it entirely. I do want to see the picture, though. <laughs> yeah, there's like a fairy in here. It's an important puzzle, I think. the baby's puzzle. <laughs> no, I'm very glad it's not a slide puzzle. Don't even say that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this this is probably gonna this is going way faster. It's like incredibly easy to solve with the pictures. <laughs> wow, puzzle. Okay. <laughs> the game does not consider it finished. <laughs> I guess I guess I can quit. Sorry for coughing there. Jeez. I guess I can quit and see if like May says anything. 
No, I guess not. <laughs> I just, I just have to do it this way, okay. Just in case, huh? Seven. I'm guessing this is the uh, the code for the abandoned building. That's royal, yeah. Okay. All done. Okay, May does not comment on it at all. <laughs> Interesting. 3LET7. and pharmaceuticals. Ah. A safe. An eight-digit code number. Okay, we do not have an eight-digit code number. This is a very good sprite of May. I'm glad that we have a good thinking sprite for her. One moment, let me save this. Going to save this one. It's a multi-purpose answer phone. Yeah, I, I think when they say answer phone, they literally mean a phone with an answering machine built in. <laughs> 946157. Hmm, okay. Show me the files. About Masakazu Yagi's behavior. Results of Target's handwriting analysis. Seemingly, yes. That's true, but also, it's not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somehow I have a bad feeling about this, yeah? Hmm. What's up with the computer? Ozeki, huh? Sorry, I'm just looking at the, the volumes back there. Search system disk. You see. This is some pretty old tech. In a world where Navi exists. I wonder if we need to remember this. I'm gonna put this in the chat. For <laughs> sake. Hmm. 
Okay. Hmm. So, we have the code for... Yeah, it's in pink. <laughs> Uh, we have the code for the abandoned building, probably. But there's no electricity, right? Ah, uh, Zeki's like been in the scenario writers, that makes sense. Oh, right, we also heard about District 4. Something happened here. The apartments don't look that old. Whoa! Th there is a, there's a connection with Clock Tower on this game? That's awesome! Ah, uh, Hunex was related to human, okay. I'm the police chief. You have to tell me what's going on. I hope she says that. Someone discovered dead, huh? Here's to have been a suicide. Can't confirm his identity yet. Okay. But if if you get to label her middle-aged lady here, why not in the other place too? <laughs> yeah, I know about murders. I solved a couple of those. <laughs> oh, I love this lady's design. <laughs> She's got the big late '80s hair. <laughs> Interesting. They can't find who reported it. Hmm. Okay. I am not allowed in there, but I'm the chief of police, even if you are chief for a day. <laughs> okay, they got me. I knew I was gonna say I was chief of police. <laughs> Okay, let's check out the abandoned building from here. Oh, wait, but this doesn't have letters. Hmm. Doesn't have letters. Could be by phone letters, yeah. Huh. I was thinking for a second, well, what if you turned it upside down and then it was like, no, there's a T in there? That's not a number. <laughs> no matter what direction you turn that in, that's not a number. Um. Let me in. Yeah, there's no power. I know. Hmm. Hey, Matoko, can you help? Uh, she's not even here now. Yeah. I know, it makes sense. Hmm. Where else could we go now? Oh, okay. It's the same. I guess we could check in the cafe and see if it's open. Nope. Not open yet. 
Don't want more shooty yell at me again, so. I'll just move. Hmm. Maybe there's something in the apartment building I missed. The safe. Yeah, could be, but again, no letters, huh? Three, five, three, eight, seven. But I need eight numbers for this. Hang on. I think I think that's on. No, no, no. Never mind. I'll try it, but I don't think that's going to get anywhere because it's it's just not enough numbers. Yeah. Yeah. She said it was eight numbers. I don't have the disc for this. I wonder if the disc is in the safe. Phone number. Wait. It wouldn't be that simple, would it? A detective wouldn't make... Oh, yeah, it's six numbers. So that doesn't work either. Okay. Well, that's fine. It wouldn't be believable for a detective to make his phone number his safe number. Hmm, a tip, huh? I might ask for a tip in a sec, though. I just wanted to see this girl again, I'm sorry. She, she's got a real good look. Tomomi lives here. Tomomi Nishina. You think you get it? Can I get yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. May May's already got a girlfriend. It's fine. Hmm. Now oh, we can't see the file names again. Wondering if maybe there was like a uh, a hint there. Okay. Kit, I want to hear what you think first before I get the tip from the person who's played the game. I do technically have eight numbers. Yeah, that's true. But I'm feeling... So I was thinking about that too, but I'm getting tripped up by the L-E-T. Right? Flip the puzzle code. Flip the puzzle code. Hmm. 
VLET7. LET backwards is tell, as in telephone. Um, so, seven, nine, four, six, one, five, seven, three. There we go. Yeah, I just I just input it. What? Wait, did I mess up? Do we just do it for? Oh, flip the form number two. Yeah. Okay. 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 That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, hang on. I need to put the phone number back on screen <laughs> so that I don't have to scroll up to it. <laughs> uh, seven, seven, five, one, six, four, nine, three. E yeah, Navi. I no, I I get it. What did I do wrong? Yeah, I guess. Ah, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There we go. That's a tricky one. Yeah, because tell was flipped. It makes sense. It makes sense. File envelope in a disk. Okay, yeah, I kind of figured the computer disk would be in the safe. Syndicate secret maneuvers, the truth of the Kusanagi case. Drug addict? So this is still going to be connected to May's dad, huh? Ah. Oh. Thanks, I got that. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. うーん。3.5インチの普通のフロッピーディスクですね。パソコン用のデータを保存するためのものですよ。事件に関する手がかりが入ってるかもしれません。持っていきましょうか。写真ですね。どれでしょう。なんだか隠し撮りでもしたみたいな。はあ。アングルですよね。いや。お父さんが死んだことに関係があるのかな。調査するなら写真を見せた方がいいからね。持っていこうか。オッケー。なるほど。中
医師が死亡を確認した証明書のことですどんなことが書いてありますつまり医師クスナギたくさん飲んで自殺したってことじゃないいや発表と一緒だよイフォタキーステンプデスうんサインズオブエクスターナルエンジュリー、ハードスウィークエンド、シンテンスクラブスプレゼンド、アディショナルサインズオブディハイドレーション、コンフォームドネリア、プレッシャーのセントラルネルバーシステム、レゾルティングフォームインジェスティブ、ラージコンディーブ、バービチュエッド、スリーピングペルス。うん。My first thought here is either the medical examiner is in on it, or the police chief is in on it, or both of them are in on it. <laughs> no turning back now. We have to find this child's father. Because it's related to our father. Boot it. Put in the disc. I saw a beast appear from the ocean. It had ten eyes, ten ears, and ten noses. Donning a crown sparkling fiercely in gold, the beast spoke to the assembled people. O pitiful children, there is no road before you. If you wish to move forward, follow my words. Thus did the people set foot into the true world. That's some Cthulhu shit? What? Huh? I was not expecting to see this in the computer. Ha!、Huh. Huh? Okay, this is Tamami, I see. Is it normal? For once, I'm going to ask you. <laughs> is it really normal? Usually, I go with it. I don't think this is normal. Does, does she not have a portrait? Now, we'll probably see it if we go inside. Making the same face. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> Why do they keep. How come in this chapter specifically they keep showing us like a pair of people <laughs> that are both making the same expression? <laughs> Very good. No worries, fine. I was able to help out. Only about Sonaki. Okay. You don't really know anything about him. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, she, they, this little girl, she's so great. She's so happy. Her life is way more together than mine. I'm a fucking mess, Maystar. Let me tell ya. Well, that's very nice of you. Yeah. I I don't I don't think we should take a seven-year-old along to our various crime scenes. Oh, she's sad. She wants to investigate crimes. <laughs> These are quite nice apartments. Very spacious. Two rooms. Well, I mean, two bedrooms. Probably ungodly expensive. I just want to say hi again. You know who this is? Okay. Well, good seeing ya. Seen this guy, huh? Ah, uh, no! <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> hmm. Where else should we go? Let's check if Sundance is open. Sure isn't. Where are Snakeys? Good question. Sad that Kihara didn't get to come back for this one. Hmm. I'm not really sure if there's anything around here. It's like worth looking into. I guess I could ask, um, the, the former waitress <laughs> about the photo, I guess. I don't think she's gonna help, but, you know. No, okay, I can't even show her the photo. <laughs> She's not important at all. Hmm. Hmm. I'll poke around here again. By the way, this has nothing to do with anything, but have you seen this man? <laughs> Who this? <gasps> Gasp! This is the dead guy! Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm the chief of police. This is my case. <laughs> Okay, they don't have anything new to say here. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. We, we really do just go in? No, I'm the chief of police. You have to let me in. Ah. Ooh, I wonder if they're all set up here. I'm thinking. I'm looking at. I'm looking at the time. I'm looking at how long I've been recording for. This is gonna be another big case, like the last one. Maybe I should stop. Is there? Okay. Okay. Anna. Anna. You have played this. Is now a good stopping point, or is there going to be a better stopping point soon? I'm, I'm curious. Kind of... I'm now kind of feeling bad about starting the, the final case, because I'm like, ooh, I'm so invested now, fuck. I wanna, I wanna just do it. Now it's probably fine. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna save. Remember what I said uh, a couple weeks ago about um, not expecting anything from me? I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna follow the schedule this week. I. I have to. I had to finish this. I need to play this on Thursday. <laughs> I. I need to. I need to see the rest of Private Idol on Thursday. Everybody. I hope, I hope that's okay. I hope that you're all excited to see the rest of this on Thursday. <laughs> no, screen schedule posts are not a commitment anymore. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I've, I've officially lied. I have to keep playing this game. <laughs> I have to keep playing this game on Thursday. I need to know where this is going. I... I, I, I freaking love Private Idol, everybody. This game is so good. Uh, and I hope you're excited to see more of it on Thursday. Because that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out, for watching. Uh, I always have a great time with these streams. This is a fucking great one. Uh, let me see if I can find somebody to rage y'all to. Oh, Bizhawk hated that I was trying to load Twitch. <laughs> Bizhawk simply hated that. Hmm. 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 Um, I'm gonna raid Heck, maybe. I think. Who is playing Cave Story? Everybody loves Cave Story, right? Uh, yeah. So, head on over there, have a good time, have a good evening, I'll see you on Thursday for the rest of Private Idol, probably. More, more than likely, more than likely the rest of Private Idol. <laughs> have a good one everybody, bye everybody, bye!